Today, everyone, today I will discuss how to send broadcasts via message tags. So let's start. Message tags is a way for businesses to send mass notification messages to their customers after 24 hours of interaction. You can apply this in many cases, but absolutely, you must comply with a specific Facebook content rules, which I will explain first. Right, so the first kind of tag is a confirm event update tag. This can be used as a reminder or update that they have signed with you. So examples are purchase tickets, reservation, upcoming class, and other similar events. Next is a post purchase update tag. So this notifies the user of an update on a recent purchase. Examples are invoices, shipment status, and such. Then lastly, an account update tag, so this notifies the user of a non-recurring change to their account, for example, application status or notification of suspicious activity. So why do you have to understand this? Well, it's because your messages might be tagged as spam if you don't use the proper message tag. So to avoid that inconvenience, please refer to the proper tag use. Now we will proceed on the use of message tags in your bot. So there are three ways to do that. So first is locate broadcasting and then click on the add new button. Right. So here before adding your block, select settings first, which you can find in this area here. And select either of the three tags that we had discussed earlier. So you could see all the options that you could use here. And again, make sure the message matches the tag. So for this tutorial, we will use a confirm event update as an example, right? So I will show you a sample content later, but first we will continue with the ways to use the message tag. So the next one is through sequences and then select on new sequence again and then click on the message button so here on the duration area of the sequence is where you can find the message tag and you can see that you could refer to this as well so you could find the right tag for your message and also you could change it through this right so it's the same one as earlier and then now we will proceed to our last method which is the smart delay so to do that you just have to add a smart delay block here and here you will see the similar message tags, right? So you could also change that. Again, just don't forget to save your changes as always. And now we will go back to broadcasting so I could explain to you how we could use the tag sir. So first rename this broadcast and add your conversation block. So you could change this whole conversation just like how you would on a normal flow, right? So like this. Then considering our tag, we could only use a reminder or update. So for example, this is an online class bot and I will enter a message here to remind them of their upcoming class. Next, click the button here to attach direct options for your user. And here you will see that you could use either of these three attachments. And this is where we would add the mentioned study guide in our message by clicking the URL. All right, but first I will change the title first. So instead of button, we will enter, for example, view study guide like this. And you have to attach your link to the video here. And then we will add another button, another option for them, which is, for example, for later if they don't want to view the video yet. So you could connect them to a flow that you had already created, for example. So like this, you already have your message and you could add your actions as well if you want and save changes. And now I am going to show you how it would work. Of course, we just have to click on our test and messenger button and wait for our message to arrive. So it's already here. So here you will see the same message that I had included earlier plus the same button options. So I will show you how this would look like for them. For example, they click on that button and then it will directly open a new Tab, so which will contain the use, uh, YouTube video. So this is just an example and it comes from our page. So now going back, I will show you how to do this same message but with a different option. So instead of the direct buttons here, we could use the buttons from the user input type. 
right i will explain this quickly to you so enter the same options right here and then we will add to new conversation that will continue the options and i will first edit this one and now we have here the edited one so the first one is to open the link here you can just paste the link to your message body no need to add any buttons if you want all right so that is your first option and the second one is the later button so just give them another reminder and connect these two branches here right and i will show you again how this would work first i will set this one and test it on messenger all right just click on this button and transfer it to our messenger account right so here you will see the two options so first use study guide for example and then they will receive the link like this so unlike the other one they have to directly click on the link so those are your two options and you could do whatever you want but for our broadcast i will use this first example right so we're gonna set it again and go to settings and now we will set this message as a broadcast message so here you can filter out the recipients by setting a condition so you have to set it outside the 24 hour window but since i recently interacted with my bot there are zero recipients here and this is an example with a larger audience so you could set it the same way that we have done earlier and you could see that the uh, recipients have been filtered out so it will just work that way if you have many recipients so next is the message type here you have to set it of course to the confirmed event update as we have discussed earlier and here in segment you can control the number of subscribers as well as how many messages will be sent out per minute as to avoid spam and also here in the schedule broadcast you could uh, either schedule it for now or later and you could set the date and time by clicking the button here all right, so just like this, but for this example, we will be using a start sending now button and we will change the conditions to show you how the broadcast would work. So I will change the tag to the new customer. But again, remember that you have to change it back to the outside 24 hour window if you were using this as a message tag, all right? So schedule message. Here now the messages are currently scheduled and are waiting to be sent out so this may take a little while and we would have to wait for it. Also you could cancel your scheduled message broadcast here right away if you want as well. Alright so we're just waiting for the message and it already arrived here. So we will check our account again to see. All right, so it's the same message that we had used earlier. So that is how you use your broadcast via message tag. Make sure to utilize this option so you could gain more customers. And if you have other questions, simply message our AHA chat page. Thank you and see you next time.